Hey, what's up guys? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. And you guys know how we've mentioned on this channel time and time again that history tends to repeat itself. Well, it appears that it has done so once again. And I'm going to get right into that. And I think you guys are going to find this very, very interesting because, well, as of recently, it appears that I have played against and ran into in pubs, of course, probably the best X Defiant player that I personally have ever seen play. And he just so happens to be a content creator forward slash streamer. But before we get into the, the, the main topic of today's discussion, I want to ask you guys a small favor, and that is to tell me in the comment section what your M4 class is for X Defiant, because, well, for the longest time, I've just been going about this all wrong. Before I took my little break, and I'm still kind of on it, but... Before I took my break from streaming, it's like one of the last few streams I did. Some other content creators were in my stream. They gave me a few suggestions for their classes for different weapons. And quite frankly, it ended up just improving my experience so much. And I was like, wow, I've been setting up my classes all wrong. And right now I'm kind of starting over again and just experimenting. Obviously, I'm happy with my M16 class. But other than that, when it comes to other weapons, I'm experimenting. This gameplay you're seeing here is an M4 class, which reminds me a lot of the Black Ops 1 Commando. So I kind of built like uh, built it like such. Um, I did use a suppressor, but then I just took it off and then opted for something else like a barrel extender or something like that. But uh, all I've noticed so far is... Is that rapid fire makes a difference in the time to kill of this weapon and basically the rest of the build is more or less built around on uh, based off of uh, just accuracy and precision but if you would please let me know what your uh, m4 classes are down in the comment section below i'd greatly appreciate it so that way i can continue to experiment because combinations in this game can be confusing sometimes in terms of what attachments you use but anyway without further ado let's get back into the meat and potatoes here and uh, as i mentioned in the very beginning of this commentary history tends to repeat itself now what i mean by that is back when when i was playing call of duty around call of duty ghost time uh this was around the time when i started to understand call of duty a lot better and I really started to get in deep in terms of how I can make myself a better player in terms of pubs, right? And then I saw a video by Woody's Gamertag who was interviewing a guy that goes by PwnStars.com. And he won the Prestige Master Race back in Call of Duty Ghosts, him and along with another guy. And there's been a good chunk of it that's actually been uh, recorded and that is here on YouTube. You can actually find it. And uh, quite frankly, when I first saw his gameplay, because I'd never heard of him before, and uh, Woody's Gamertag was using his gameplay in the background while they were doing the, the, the little interview, I was just very amazed of how good this player was. And fast forward all this time later, it appears that the person that I've been running into on X Defiant is a guy that goes by Astonished 2K, right? Astonished 2K or Astonished 2K. And quite frankly... I didn't know at first that he was a content creator forward slash streamer. I thought he was just a really good player that just happened to be whipping my ass. And on top of that, I thought he was like, you know, uh, basically like teaming up with another dude or at least two more other guys that were really good and just steamrolling everybody. But no, it appears that this guy is not only legit, but when I went and looked back at his past broadcasts on Twitch on stream and when I seen a few of his gameplay videos on YouTube, I found myself going, holy shit, just basically like I did all those years ago when I first saw PwnStars.com playing. And then ever since then, I kind of been trying to study the guy like a hawk. Uh, obviously, he's got like classes set up for every gun and stuff like that. Obviously, he's experimented as well. But when I look at how precise he is, when I look at how fast he, he drops people and things like that, I'm, I just find myself going, holy shit. And apparently this guy has also played with and against pros before. <laughs> Obviously he plays ranked as well. He's done Fortnite tournaments. I believe he's won one as well. Uh, I think he's done little X Defiant tournaments here uh, as well. And you know, when you get that kind of a caliber player, it's like, yeah, no wonder this guy's whooping your ass. No wonder he's steamrolling the lobby. No wonder he's as accurate as he is. You know, I think one of his streams that I saw on Twitch or whatnot was like an eight hour broadcast. So it's like, yeah, the guy's putting in the time. He's put in the time. He understands these kind of shooters really well. And it's like, when you see a person like that, yeah, you're like, holy shit. But at the same time, you kind of want to study them and you want to see what makes them tick. You know, what's their uh, what's their decision making like? You know, you look at closer at their accuracy and whatnot. And you look at the person and you're like, holy crap, you know? So you try to replicate that, but you kind of want to obviously put in your own type of 
uh, type of um, spin on it, right? You don't just want to do exactly 100% what they're doing because, quite frankly, that wouldn't make you unique. But that doesn't mean that there's some, something that you can't learn. So uh, just by watching a player like that is like, okay, you know, you can really get that good. And at the same time, it also gave me a little bit of a taste of something of like what pro caliber players when X Defiant officially does eventually launch its pro league or whatever the hell they're going to call it in year two, fingers crossed. Um, you know, it's going to it kind of gives me a taste in terms of the kind of skill that you're going to see on display. Because, you know, when you look at these guys, when you look at the best of the best in terms of what they're capable of, right? Uh, as well as the amount of time that they've spent playing. I think he's like a level 305 or something like that. Um, I mean, I can only imagine what his skill rating is in pubs. Like, holy shit. Uh, but, but seriously, though, like this guy, whether he's jump shotting, whether he's boot, completely boots on the ground, whether he's using an LMG, whether he's using a submachine gun, whether he's using an assault rifle, whatever... Uh, the guy is legitimately equally as good with every single weapon. It's insane. So, uh, you know, that's which is obviously another good sign of a good player, you know. So it's one thing when you're really good with one or two weapons or just a handful of weapons. But it's a whole other thing when you are just great across the board, not just good with this weapon and then OK with another weapon. No, no, no. More like great across the board. And that's something that I've always admired ever since the beginning. And I mentioned this on stream before. For those of you guys that have been on stream, you've heard me say this before. You know, I if there's only if there's anything that I've been kind of obsessed with over the years when it comes to first person shooters above anything else, it's been how accurate players are like their aim. And obviously the best, the best out there. One thing that they all have in common is that their aim is incredible. Uh, their decision-making is incredible. And obviously, uh, you know, uh, the reflexes are incredible, but the one thing, the two things overall that make them really a step above the rest are the combination of how well they aim as well as their decision making. I would say that number one is decision making because you're not going to win, you know, 10 fair gunfights in a row. It just doesn't work that way. Uh, you, number one is decision making. Number two is their aim. And obviously, uh, you know, number three is um, I forget at the moment what number three is, because, um, again, I don't I don't script these and I just forget what number three is. But, but you know, you know, I already mentioned it. But anyway. So and then obviously the amount of time and dedication that these guys put into it is just absolutely incredible. And when it comes to, you know, back in the day, there used to be a, a, a debate, which is obviously not a debate at all. There was a debate on who was better, pros versus pub star stompers, right? It's like, well, if the pros are in their element, they're better. And the pub stars are in their element, it's better. It's like, no, nah, dude, the pros are better or the guys that want to be pros are better. But there are a handful of these pub players, right? Strictly pub players that can pretty much hang in there with the pros. And that's because they spend the the, the same amount of time uh, mastering their craft, but they're just playing a different version of the game. Because as you guys know, competitive versus pubs is a little bit different. As a matter of fact, it's a, a decent amount different, especially since the fact that when you're talking about pubs, you know, you can do it solo and there's other things to consider when you're doing that. And then, it, but it, you're not playing people that are very good uh, in comparison to yourself. But when it comes to, uh, you know, when it comes to competitive, you're playing objective based game modes with players right on your team, but you're also playing against other players that are as about equal skill as you. So it is, it is a completely different ball game. But with that being said though, um, uh, I, I can't help but admire both sides, both the, the, the top of the top when it comes to the pub players, as well as the top of the food chain when it comes to pros. And it really is interesting when they kind of mix sometimes. Um, but with that being said, though, uh, I have to I have to give it to him. I have to I have to tip my head to this guy. The best player on X Defiant that I've seen so far is uh, by far Astonished 2K. You know, if there's anybody that you guys know of that are, that, are, that is also very good, or if you've never heard of this guy before, I'm going to leave a link to his stuff in the description, and you guys are just going to be absolutely floored with the amount of consistency and the craziness that you're going to see game after game after game right in front of you. And uh, it's not something that's surprising, but at the same time, it's kind of like a welcome, uh, a welcome reminder, so to speak, because, well... You know, back in the day, I was just a noob when it comes to these sort of games, and I was fascinated. And here I am, more experienced than I was better, a better player than I was all those years ago, but yet I am still equally as fascinated today when I see a player of that caliber, just like I did 10 years ago. So uh, I just kind of wanted to make this video because I, fe I felt like uh, respect had to be paid where it's due. And at the same time, it is a fun video. It is X Defiant related, and I thought you guys might enjoy it, so therefore I made it. So with that being said, let your thoughts on today's topic be uh, known down below. And of course, please, if you would uh, give me your